Happy New Year! Happy 2015! Usually I would do these videos face to face, but I'm starting off my new year with a code. It's awful. So me plus sickness equals not a very good site. But thank you, a big, big, big thank you to Nona B for requesting this video. So thank you, Nona B. I am here today to talk about lookups in SSRS or reporting services. I will use them interchangeably, SSRS and reporting services. So here we go. I'm going to start with an example in Excel for VLOOKUPs because once you get the concept in Excel, then you'll get the concept in Reporting Services. So we have our data set 1, which has the date and the description of that date. You'll see that November, uh, January 1st is New Year's Day, November 26th is Thanksgiving, the 11th is Veterans Day, and 1225 is Christmas. And then in data set 2, we have the names of employees, the date that they would like to take off, but then you'll see that in the third column, the description is missing. So the lookup calculation will look up the date from data set 2, it will find it in data set 1, and then bring back the description that corresponds to that date. So I'm going to use the VLOOKUP formula in Excel, and um, if you're not familiar with this formula in Excel, then I can do another video about that. But for right now, I'm just going to breeze through this formula. I'm going to look up the value in G3, which comes from data set 2, and the table array is B3 through C10, because that's where we want to pull the data from. And you'll see that when we drag the formula down, it brings in the description of that date from data set 1. Notice how column H was blank before, but then once we put in the formula, it brought in the description of each date. And so, essentially, that's exactly what we want to do in reporting services. So I've opened up Visual Studio 2008, and you'll see on the left we have the two data sets that we need. Now, when you right-click on the tablet and click on Properties, you'll see that this is called Tablix 2, and it's pulling data in from data set 2, just like in our spreadsheet. So go ahead and right-click on the empty data cell, and that will take you to Expressions. And on the left, click on Common Functions, and then click on Miscellaneous. And then double-click Lookup. That will take us to the formula that we need. The Lookup formula contains four components. The first component is the name of the field from Dataset 2. We get there by clicking on Fields in the categories on the left. And then double clicking our the only value we have in data set 2, which is the holiday code date. Now you'll see that in our spreadsheet, it is the exact same date that comes from column G. Now the next three components will all come from data set 1. That means the holiday code date from data set 1, and the then holiday code description that also comes from data set 1. Be sure to add in the dot value after each field name. It's a necessary part of the formula. And the very last component is specifically saying that these values are coming from data set 1. And then we close out the formula with the right paren and we preview. The data set is loading and the results you will see that just like in the spreadsheet, it brought in the description of each date. January 1st is New Year's, 1225 is Christmas, 1126 is Thanksgiving, just like in the Excel spreadsheet. Now let's take another look at the formula. Click on Design, right click on the expression, and open up the formula again, and let's just take another look at exactly what it's doing. So the first component of the lookup formula is the field holiday code date dot value. Now field exclamation point and the dot value portion that is just required as part of the formula. So just know that this first component comes from data set 2. 
For the next three components come from data set one. That is the date value from data set one, the description of that date from data set one, and then specifically saying data set one because that's where these values come from. Now here is one more example outlining what each component means and where it comes from. You'll see that the yellow component comes from data set two. The entire red component comes from data set one and inside the red component you'll see the blue component which is the date value from data set one, the green component which is the description of the date from data set one, and then the last part which specifically says data set one because that's where the last three components come from. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below. See you next time.